Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. Today, we have another tutorial in the series of Excel data analysis. Today, we will learn about count ups in Excel. That's it. If these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit the like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for your info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data science and analytics skills, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data science and data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers various certifications and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Caltech, Purdue, IIT Kanpur, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like Advanced Excel, Python Machine Learning, Data Visualization, Generative AI, and over a dozen of other skills. That's not all. You also get an opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working on top tier data and product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data science or analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box and find out data science and data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now without further delay, let's get started with count ifs in Excel. Now we are on the Excel spreadsheet with a table based on employee data set. Now we will try to apply count ifs function in Excel based on this data set. So let's say we wanted to count the number of employees who are working in development team. So the formula is completely similar to sum ifs and average ifs but with a slight difference. So what's that difference? Count ifs. So if you start the formula of count ifs, you can see the criteria range has been given first, not the return value. In sum ifs and average if you actually get the return values first, then the condition, then in case if it's not one, what do I let you to know, right? But here you're given the criteria range first, right? So that's the only difference. Now let's try to build the formula equals to count f count f's. So the criteria is department value department is equals to development which is in cell i4 then count the numbers. Now three. Now the second type of uh, requirement is the team member should be from development and his designation or her designation should be associate. Now how do you modify the formula? The formula is completely same you just have to add another condition over here or add another parameter over here which is like the same first one department comma value should be development comma designation select the designation column comma value should be associate close the bracket enter now you get one employee from development team as an associate so that's how you use count ifs in Excel and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, please feel free to let us know and if you need any resources that we used in the session, also please do let us know and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing programs, and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.